Hello and welcome to Jirisa's YouTube channel. So family law is one of the important subject for your UGC NET exams, especially for your upcoming attempt. And for that reason, I have compiled some of the MCQs related to the Hindu law. So let's find out those questions under this video. The first question is that in which of the following cases the Supreme Court of India has held that mother can be a natural guardian in certain circumstances, even in the presence of father. So we have got four options. You have to choose the correct one. You can also pause the video. So they came. Jo Hamloka Act, hai, which is Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act 1956, is act ke under aapka ek section aata hai, section 6, clause A. So is clause A ke according to natural guardian of minor hai, wo uska jo language likha gaya hai, wo aise likha gaya hai, ki that a natural guardian of minor is father and after him the mother. So, ye jo aapka uh, case hai, Gita Hariharan versus RBI, this case mein, Supreme Court mein, ye jo term after use kiya gaya hai, under section 6 clause A, ye bow down kar diya tha, ke harmonious construction kar ki ye held kiya, ki that yes, even in the presence of the father, the mother can be the natural guardian of minor. So, the correct option is option number 3. Next question is, in which of the following cases section 9 of Hindu Marriage Act 1955 has been declared unconstitutional? So this is like one of the pet questions. This is like coffee frequent poocha jata hai aapke UGC net exam mein, Right? So the correct answer is option number 2 which is T. Sarita versus T. V. Subaya. So basically in this case mein ye section 9 se related tha, hai, which is your RCR, Restitution of Conjugal Rights. So, uh, this is basically, yahan pe ye alich kiya gaya tha ki jo section 9 hai aapka Hindu Marriage Act ka, that should be uh, held unconstitutional because it is violative of Article 21 and Article 40, right? So, the case name is uh, option number 2, which is T. Sarita versus T. V. Subaya. Next question, under the provisions of Hindu Succession Act 1956, so see, we have got four statements, theek hai? So, ये जो आपके जो four statements यहाँ पे दिए गए हैं, इनका ये बताना है कि class one hair में आते हैं या नहीं आते हैं या class two hair में आते हैं या नहीं आते हैं. So, out of the given uh, statements, we have to choose the correct one. You can also pause the video. So, देखिए ये जो आपका act है, which is Hindu Succession Act 1956, इसका जो last में schedule आपका दिया गया है, which is related to the class one and class two hair. ये काफी important है frequently पूछा जाता है तो इसको भी आप याद करने की कोशिश करिए ठीक है दो चार बार आप पढ़ेंगे तो आपको याद हो जाएगा so आप अगर उस schedule को consider करेंगे right so accordingly आपका option number A which is son of predecessor in cl is class one है and option number D which is mother's father is class two है ये आपका option correct है बाकी दोनों statement जो हैं B और C वो गलत हैं so accordingly option number two is your correct answer now, the next question, that which of the following are fault grounds of divorce under Hindu Marriage Act 1955? So, as you are already aware, there uh, are three theories hoti hai which respect to divorce. Pehla hota hai aapka fault theory, second hai mutual consent, and third hai aapka irretrievable breakdown of marriage. So, here are fault grounds of divorce with respect to divorce under Hindu Marriage Act 1955, right? So, देखिए basically क्या कहते हैं पहले nine rounds थे अब बाद में leprosy वाला ground in 2019 भी हटा है अब आपके पास total eight grounds हो गए ठीक है जिसमें कि आपका desertion आएगा duality आएगा जो C दिया है यहाँ पे which is consent obtained by fraud or force ये नहीं आता है as a ground of divorce and the last is the conversion to non Hindu religion yes so, aapko option number A, B and D is the correct answer. Last question, that given below are the two statements. So, uh, before us, we have got two statements, statement 1 and statement 2, right? So, let us see what a statement 1 is. So, no person except the father or mother of a child shall have the capacity to give the child in adoption under Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956. Second statement is under Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956. Mm -hmm. The same child may not, may not be adopted simultaneously by two or more persons. 
So out of the given statements, we have to choose the correct one, the statements, right? So take care. If you are going to consider section 9 of Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act, you have to consider subsection 1 mein pehli hi line aapki di gai hai ki that no person except the father or mother or a guardian of a child. Theke, the guardian added hai wahan pe, right? Guardian of a child shall have the capacity to give the child in adoption under Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act. So accordingly, aapka jo statement 1 hai, woh incorrect ho jayega. Statement 2 kehta hai, he under Hindu uh, Adoption and Maintenance Act, the same child may not be adopted simultaneously. Yes, statement 2 is correct. Ye jo aapka same statement hai, aapka section 11 se mil chayata. Section 11 mein aapka fifth point mein diya gaya hai. Yehi same language di gaya hai. So accordingly, statement 2 is, you're correct. And hence, option number 4 is a correct answer. So agar aap UGC net ki preparation kar rahe hain, or December attend dena chahate hain, then Juris Academy is offering UGC Net Law Hive course, just make you have live lectures, medicine recorded videos regarding paper one and paper two. This can have up to study material provide Jangle regarding paper one and paper two. Just make you after every chapter, you are going to get MCQ so that you can practice well. And then also you are going to get mock test for paper one and paper two, and all these things you will have. 24-7 uh, access either from your laptop, smartphone, or tablet, right? And this can be or be useful features which you can visit the website and check kar sakte hai, which is ugc.jurisearch.com and if you have any query, you can contact the number pe bhi contact kar sakte So that was all the important questions which have been frequently asked from the Hindu law. Thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get the further updates.